When I first joined Lifesteal, there was one man that I feared over anyone else. Over all of them. One man that I thought was absolutely terrifying. And that, of course, was Woogie. No, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm lying. It, it was, it was, it was, it was obviously, it was obviously, it was obviously Clown Pierce, right? I was terrified of Clown Pierce. Now, I don't even know why. I don't know what scared me exactly about this Clown Pierce fellow, but for some reason, I was absolutely terrified. I don't know why this guy said what. He was very confused as to how I just absolutely destroyed him. Very confused as to how I am just better than him at the video game. He doesn't quite understand that I am the superior player when it comes to Bed Wars. Not him! It is me! Okay, well, I did just I did just lose, but, you know, Clown Pierce was the scariest guy to me. I don't know why. There was just something about how calming and soothing and wonderful his voice was and that scared me immensely that scared me a lot i was terrified of that voice i was terrified of it like imagine waking up to hearing a whisper into your ear clown pierce saying why is there an among us on my lawn i would shit myself i would literally pass out dead right there die goodbye pee pee poof i'm i'm done i'm done i i it's, it's literally over if i hear that line when i wake up it's just that scary. It's just that terrible. <laughs> Bad says pink. Oh no. No, gray team. The insult. They didn't have to do him like that. Oh. Okay, bye. They didn't have to do my homie like that. Why? Why? This guy's molding. He's in me in front of us. He's upset. They didn't have to do my man like that. So when I joined the server, of course, Clown Pierce was like the scariest. And when the first day we joined, if you've seen it, if you've seen my first video on Lifesteal ever, everybody was in a VC. Except for, I believe, Prince Zam, Leo Wook wasn't there, and Clown Pierce was there for a little bit. And the reason for this is they were raiding the Poggy's base at the time. And if you've seen like the old season two videos, holy shit, I just got rolled, bro. But yeah, they, they were raiding the old Poggy's base at the time. And we were a distraction, the three applicants, me, Clutch, and Spectacle. We, we were a distraction for them to, like, you know, do their thing. They were going to take out everybody, kill them all, destroy the Poggies. And the only words that I heard from Clown Pierce whilst he was in that VC was, I'm not sussy. That was it. Though That was the entire bit of of words that I heard from him, ever. I'm not sussy. That was it. And those words struck even more terror into me because he was claiming he wasn't the Among Us Red Imposter like I always thought he was. He was he was claiming that he wasn't with Branzy. Then again, this was season two, so there was no Branzy. There was no Branzying way back in season two, you know? That just, this person's actually pretty good. They're really sweating. I just have more stuff, which is why I'm winning. Okay. Those were the only words I heard get muttered from Clown Pierce's mouth. And from that day for like the next two weeks, maybe even a month it was, I didn't speak to Clown Pierce. I was too afraid to really speak to anybody on the server because I was just, I was new and I'm already really bad at conversating with people. I'm already horribly socially awkward. So when all of a sudden I get put into a, a server with a bunch of like larger YouTubers and stuff, for one, I'm like, wow, these guys are really, really big. Like this is kind of awkward. And for two, I'm in the void. No, but, but for two, I'm, I'm not good at socializing with people. So I, I never really made an attempt. I never really made an attempt to talk to anybody. And then the day came around when Prince Sam was doing a 12 hour stream. He was going to be streaming for 12 long hours at a time. And I decided me, Clutch, and I believe Spectacle came in a little bit later. We decided to go and hang out at MOB Tower with Prince Sam and Leo Wolf. We decided we would just kind of hang out with them, do some rage, just talk, give them content. So that's what we did. And then eventually Clown Pierce came around. Now at this point, the only interaction I've ever had with the man is him claiming to not be sussy that was it that was my only interaction i have ever had with him before just that and that alone so i was expectingly nervous and scared about what was going to happen what was going to go down you see i, I was obviously afraid i didn't know what was gonna happen so clown pierce arrives right he joins the vc and was like yo what's up he says the famous line why is there an among us on my lawn to which everybody just laughs because it was really funny and silly at the time we all thought it was the greatest joke to ever be said in the history of the world it was just fantastic i don't know where this guy is i'm afraid if i go right he's gonna bed trade with me but if i go i'm gonna just go left for now i don't know where he is we'll find him this way probably Clown Pierce joins he says the famous line and then we all kind of just sit there right Clown Pierce is doing his epic monologue scary thing he's chasing us around stabbing us with his sword saying it's a little friendship wave or a friendship slash or a handshake. I don't even know what he called it. In my mind, though, I thought he was trying to kill me. I thought he had just tasted my blood. He was sizing me up for a kill. Like a wild beast out for its prey. That's what that was. 
Okay, I'm going back the other way because I think it'll be quicker. He was like a wild animal sizing up his ray, you see. He was slapping us to see if we were ripe for the kill. Ripe to stab, ripe to obliterate, ripe to eviscerate off of the very planetary existence that we called Earth. He was going to be the one that took us off of the planet, eliminated us, absolutely dissolved us into nothing. Instead, he decided to make us mandatory volunteers. Or should I say mandatory la labor... Sla ma <coughs> sorry, ma ma mandatory laborers is what he called us, you see. We had to go and mine Blackstone in the mines for him to finish his MOB tower. And if we so much as said anything against him, he would kill us. We would be dead. He would stab us, absolutely obliterate us if we opposed his word, if we opposed his rule of going into the Blackstone mines. So we had no choice but to go into the Blackstone mines and mine for this guy. Now, bear in mind, this is like my first actual interaction with him ever. And my first interaction is that I have become his slave and I have to mine Blackstone for him. Otherwise, I would die. Like, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm like, you know, a person that's like, yeah, first impressions are important. Me personally, I don't think that's a very great first impression. Being forced to go into the mines, you know, I don't think that's very great. I don't think anybody wants that to like happen, you know, nobody wants that to occur. That's like, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. There's no way that actually hits him. We're going back this way. That's absolutely wild to even think of. Like, how? So we're in the mines, mining Blackstone. Watch is making this really weird voice, and I think he's referring to Clown Pierce as master or daddy. I honestly don't remember at this point. Either way, kind of sussy. Kind of weird. I think Clown Pierce was enjoying it a little bit too much, and we just sat there, I think, for like literally two hours. We mined away Blackstone in the nether, until eventually we could come back, we would depot the Blackstone into a chest, and and that's it. That's when I made a run for it. I ran. I dipped. I pieced out. Also known as I logged out. How did he get to my base so quickly? Wait. I'm gonna lose. No! Okay, well, uh, there was no winning that fight. But yeah, long story short, I escaped. I barely got out. I missed my bow shot. I think if I had that bow shot at first, it would've been fine. I think he was in P3, though, and we had equal armor. He got the first touch, so kind of bad. Unlucky. Oh, well, GG's. Uh, yeah, so that, that's it for this substox. Clown Pierce, scary. Um, yeah, I, I guess that that's my first impression to Clown Pierce. I was afraid. So, yeah, anyways, everyone enjoyed. Subscribe, stuff like that. Uh, bye.